Hi everyone, this is Amanda. Thank you for um, tuning into my channel today. I have here a Coco Daisy um, package that I purchased a bunch of their planner items. Now I was late to the game, so I didn't get my planner dividers and the kit like I wanted to. And I actually meant to sign up last month in order to get it this month and I forgot. So I have gone ahead and subscribed to their planner kit that arrives each month and then I also got the divider kit and the uh, Daisy Dory kit so um, but more on that in a minute so anyway I wanted to share with you what I got because I really like Coco Daisy they are one of the very first um, kits that I subscribed to many years ago and um, when I was really heavy into scrapbooking and I always thought that their quality was very good and they had unique items and so um, when I started seeing them come through on the planner side I thought okay this is really cool and I've been seeing them I did a video last summer I think on it which I can link below on some things I got and so this is what I purchased and I think you'll like it. So if I open it up, it came like this. And also it comes in this cutest little box, which they didn't have before when I subscribed. Um, that's just some tissue paper. And then I'll pull things out and then I'll remove the box. So we've got some uh, little things here, a pouch and some other stuff. So I will put this away. I will keep the box because I think I'm going to repurpose it to store stuff in or to store washi in because it's like the perfect size. So let's start with this first. This is a pen case and this month for July or for June, June, July, July, this is July stuff. So for July's kit, it was all mermaids. So that's kind of what the theme is. And this is just a little case. Um, you've probably seen similar things to this from like the Planner Society kit, stuff like that. But it's really cute. It's made of canvas and it looks kind of like a painted or a printed canvas from like a paint drawing or something. And I'm just kind of um, flexing it out here a little bit to get the wrinkles out and stuff. It has this little thing here. This would actually be great for to use as a backing for a shaker card. I might keep that. I don't know. Um, so this is what it is. Bunch of different coral and like some pretty watercolors. Some seahorses there and there. I'll put that up there. Um, and that's printed on both sides. And then on the inside, there's this pretty blue polka dot pattern very pretty and this is like the outside is canvas it's not a coated canvas it's just canvas and then like a material just fabric on the inside and then this um, I'm assuming a faux leather um, pull tab and a zipper closed so I use those quite often um, the next thing is I got a little package of I think stickers this is like the um, miscellaneous stuff I've got everything comes or most things come in this glassine bag, which I think is a really cute touch. So this, I love this washi, so I got some of it. And it's, um, it's a mermaid tail or scales. It's very watercolory and it's got pinks and blues and greens. And I just thought it was very pretty. So I got one of those. And then I got the stickers, the planner sticker page. And it has some tabs here all with the underwater theme and then this one is shells i'll put that up closer it's a little wrinkled but that's okay this is superstar schedule reschedule rain check canceled i forgot some little um tags hold your horses and then this is kind of their signature character here with the bunnies and then this cute little sticker says always be yourself unless you can be a mermaid then always be a mermaid so that's cute Toes in the sand, go with the flow, make waves, shopping, beach day, errands. These are just really cute. Mermaids, ha mermaid hair, don't care. <laughs> That's cute. And then these are little, um, you can't really see them from this, but I'll, it's like um, hole cover protectors. So like if you punched 
uh, planner page, you can put those on there. So, and then just some miscellaneous uh, doodads. And I think this here is a label. Yeah, these are labels. One say in July and one blank. So they really have used up the whole space. And that's cute. Next, I got what they call, um, I think it's a Daisy Dory or something like that. But this is their version of a travel journal um, insert. Now, I have not seen them come out with a... Uh, quote unquote travel journal, you know, where you can fill stuff with, but give them time because I think it's probably coming. I would probably make a really big bet, mostly because, you know, um, uh, May Designs, they did all the inserts. Now they've come out with a travel notebook. And I've also seen Webster's pages, um, Color Crush, travel journals or travel notebooks advertised on Coco. Daisy website. So I'm assuming they're probably going to come out with their own. So anyway, this says start here. It's a craft colored um, insert, which I really like the craft color. And you can, it's just a raised embossed start here with an arrow. And on the inside is where it really gets pretty. So the first page, if I pull it up for you to see, is it's always ourself we Board in the sea, E.E. E. Cummings. And it has this pretty mermaid here with the coral and the calendar at the bottom. And this is for um, July. And then all these designs of seashells. And then behind the calendar, you get into some note pages and see this pretty little splash here, the mermaid tail, catch me by the sea. And then you have these like weak, um, like weekly views you can use them for whatever you want because they're not dated but i would use these as a weekly view and it says be fluid be like water flow around the obstacles so it's really cutely decorated collect beautiful moments i like the way they put quotes in here with the and the artwork is just really pretty this is the next page um these seashells at the top are really pretty. And this is a grid. I love the grid. Got a page. If you don't want to go with flow, make waves. And then the cute little mermaid again there. And I could really see the mermaid washi on this. And then these are two blank pages. You could do any designs you want. You've got some notes here. You can make lists if you like or to-do list, anything. Still waters run deep, more blank pages. You can, there's so much you can do with this. And then this is a weekly kind of view with no um, grid. So you can use these for whatever you like. Um, I find that I really like these. You can put a lot into them. And often I'll use them much longer than just the month. So I can, uh, but it really encompasses everything. That's really pretty. So let me go to the last few pages. It says just kind of like a conglomeration of week at a week at a glance, um, blank paper, note paper. You can do anything you want with this, and I really like it because I like the way it adds all the illustrations. Strength grows in the moments when you think you you can't go on, but you keep going anyway the script was really hard to read there and then that just splash of tail so this is um i think you can get a subscription just for this as well they've broken up their subscriptions so that you can kind of tailor it the way you want so like a, you can get a subscription just for this i think it's 850 a month if if i'm thinking correctly um but for all the artwork and everything it's just really pretty um, so there's that. I did sign up for that subscription and I signed up for the dividers subscription and then the personal planner subscription. This one here, this is the inserts for the A5 for July. And I just, I wanted something new and different to kind of dress up my planner this month because I've kind of been 
just kind of stale. I, I think I need, I haven't really updated it since I did the Jane Davenport dividers. So I just really felt like it need freshened and revived. So that's why I got this. And it just has a little tab for July and I can put a regular calendar in there if I want, if I want a full view. But this right here has, um, the front is decorative down by the sea where I seek to be free. I loved her. I loved her, loved her with all I could be a Bentley. So it, this is what I mean by all their artwork has just really been stepped up in the last few months. Um, the coral on the backside with the, the month here, you highlight those whatever days. And then this is, these are weeks on one page and they're all different colors of the rainbow this one has squiggles that one has like mermaid tails and then on the back it's grid paper it says oh every seashell has a story so that's really pretty and there's I think four or five of these so you have one for each week there's three four and five I can't remember what the price of this was but it was not expensive because I think everything I got with the washi, the bag, the stickers, the Daisy Dory, and this with shipping, which was like six or seven dollars, the whole thing was like forty-two dollars with shipping and tax. So it was not expensive. Um the next page is just blank. She is a mermaid, but approach her with caution. Her Wow, the script is really hard to read. Her mind swims at a depth most would drown in. I think it says J, R J Iron Wood. And then this, you have inserts that are the week, um, a week on two pages. So you have the week on one page and then the week on two pages. Um, the ocean is everything I want to be. Beautiful, mysterious, wild, and free. Well, and I really do like the fact that these are undated. Because what if I have a month where I really didn't use part of these? I can reuse them in another month, which is nice. And I like the way they give you grid paper on one side and um, plain paper to do some drawings or thinking or um, taping memorabilia to it, whatever. And I believe there's five of these. So, let's see it's like two pages encompassed like one week so it's very nice that you don't have to worry about oh there's another half a week on this side or no there's another half a week on this side if you I wanted to just pick up these two and put them in my planner it would be perfectly fine so there's several sets of these and I just think they're really pretty and then we have a notes section with little boxes for tasks on grid. That's really cute. And then here's your monthly view. I wasn't sure if it had a monthly view in it, but it does. So that's really nice. I wonder if I could put the monthly view. I would probably do it this way and put my monthly view up here. Because I'd have it this way and then my monthly view. Yeah, I think that's what I would do. But look how cutely decorated that is for the month of July. You see that? And you can choose to get these punched or unpunched. I went ahead and got them punched. And then you have dailies. So they include enough dailies to um, use, you know, as you see fit. Each page is a daily thing. So again, I like them. You pick it up, you put it in whenever you need it. Daily to do, you can date it, must do, call, email, to do list, hydrate, and a schedule. And then on the other side, it has a daily to do also, but then there's a section for a five minute pickup, dinner, and then notes and ideas. So the universe is full of magical things. Eden Philpots. And then you can use this as a daily. So it's really nice. And they give you a ton of these. I want to say there's 30 or 31. But that's what the whole rest of this is. And if you've bought daily to-dos on Etsy and stuff like that, you'll know that having 30 of them or 31 of them 
is a, as a good idea and it's hard to buy packs of that many so um anyway i should probably tell you the quality of the paper because i didn't think of that um it's it's a good quality i haven't tested it to see if the, any ink bleeds through or what pens would work best on it i'm assuming i will probably use either my fine point ink joy gels or maybe my pilot g2s they're still my favorite even though i've got tons and tons of other new markers and so this is this is it this is my kit from um Coco daisy i love it i'm very happy with it and I'm excited to get a subscription and be able to bring some of this stuff to you guys each month because it's really something I enjoy and I believe in it and I think it's pretty reasonably priced for the quality and everything and the shipping was so fast. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't get anything for reviewing it or um, suggesting it or recommending it or anything like that. It's just my personal opinion of how much I like it. Anyway, thanks a lot guys. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.